for joining the show. But first, a little speaker wisdom. How do you get success? Taking it one day at a time. What do I mean by that? Is of course you're going to have failures. Of course, things are not going to go your way. You're going to be rejected. But when you look at the big picture and you have the big, big vision in front of you, that's what's really going to allow you to continue to move forward. What I see very often is a lot of people who give up. Either their insecurities let them down or procrastination gets in the way or something of that nature. I have clients who, you know, work with me and they, they do a great job. You know, things are moving, things are, are grooving, but because they don't have that person holding them accountable, they stop. They stop. When we first started working, you know, they, they had a strong why. They really had a desire to really get their message out, to speak, to be an expert, but something got in the way. Now, on the other hand, I've also had clients who had a huge vision, huge vision for success. They took that first step, even when they weren't that good, but they kept coming back. They kept doing the work. They kept practicing their craft. They kept getting better and better and better and better and better. And those people, even today, after many years, have created a very successful business around public speaking. And they may have expertise somewhere else, but they use speaking, uh, the speaking business model as a, a huge um, strategy to get more clients into their business. And they're extremely successful. So I just want to just let you know, okay? I know it's not easy. I've, I've been there. I have struggled. I have wondered, you know, what is wrong with me? Why am I not exce exceeding or excelling like someone else? I've compared myself to other people. I've wallowed in my own sorrows and not being good enough. But the one thing that, that sets me apart from a lot of other people that I've seen come and go in the speaking industry is that I never gave up. And throughout the years, I, I as I continue to practice my craft, I continue to make a shift toward, the, uh, toward a, you know, a, a better and a, another shift and another shift and another shift. But you're not going to feel that shift if you don't do the work. And so um, I encourage you to not give up, to always, always have your, your, your the vision uh, your, of the legacy that you want to create always in front of you because improving your communication and your speaking abilities will transform your life. It will transfer your career. It will transfer your relationships. It will transfer every single inch of your being. And, and it can really create the legacy that you desire. So I ask you, don't give up. Take that one step forward and then another step forward. And over time, you're going to wish you never, never, never even thought about stopping. But that kind of leads us into uh, today, uh, today's topic, which is expanding your network. Now, as a speaker, that's one thing you need to do. And a lot of people don't want to do this. It's expanding their network and doing the work that it takes to get themselves out there and meeting new people on a regular basis that's going to help you to level up in this industry. So how do you do that? The first thing I suggest is to attend industry events. Now you're an expert, right? In, in some form or in some industry, you could be finance expert. It doesn't matter. Engineering expert, doesn't matter. Oil and gas expert, is a healthcare expert, doesn't matter. Health related expert, doesn't matter. A communication expert, doesn't matter. A mindset expert, motivational expert, it doesn't matter. Fine people who want your services go to industry events they always have it Vegas is is huge on industry events maybe you're in HR that's a great one there's always HR events everywhere there's HR organization who go into organizations um next but look for events within your industry do a search on Google 
or let's say finance events, finance conferences, uh, finance um, galas, annual galas are great. Look for different company events and call them up or become a guest at those events and network, 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 network. I went to a networking event last year. Um, I, I just networking, but I wasn't even speaking and came out with, with two very high paying clients because I, I took advantage of all those people there. I worked that room. I worked that room and I kept circling around about four times to make sure I did not miss anyone. Um, and I got a lot of business and a lot of great connections from that event. I even had a billionaire um, that I met um, at that event on my show. And so these events uh, can be extremely lucrative, but you just can't just go there and sit down and hope someone comes to you. No, you have to really talk to people, get their information, follow up with them afterwards, uh, and make sure that you set that appointment on the spot and communicate and connect with them. And it should be ongoing. Connect with them on social media, check in with them once a week, once every other week, keep your connections tight and strong. That's extremely important. There's trade shows um, as well. There's uh, event planners have events. Talk to event planners, find event planners, look them up on LinkedIn, find these people, ask them, you know, when is your next event going to be? And then attend. It's going to be very important. Next is joining speaking associations. And there's a lot of speaking associations around. So find some. There's a National Speakers Association. There's industry speaking associations as well. So look around and, and find these markets. Um, that's going to help you tremendously to find other opportunities to speak. Right. You're going to be around a bunch of speaking people. <laughs> and so that's going to help you to really, you know, get into that community of speakers. And when you finally get into the community, people, they know you, you know them, and they see you speak a little bit, you've seen them speak a little bit, we kind of help each other. We help each other along and we give um, each other you know, tips and, and a little guidance on different, you know, events that we know about. Um, that's how I started my business It's going to these events, speaking events and other speakers, if they can't attend an event, they'll let me know. Or if they are involved in a great event and think I'd be a great asset to that ev event, they'll let me know. And then I can, you know, interview for it. So that's how it works. But you have to be in that community and known with that in that community. And that takes getting out the house a little bit and and uh, visiting these these different places or communities or they they even do a lot of virtual now so we're lucky in this day and age to have these virtual uh, events and virtual meetings that we can meet other people virtually too so that's that's a great thing there so that leads me into the next um, topic here is participating in online forums there's a lot of organizations are like speed networking. That's a great way to expand your network. I do a, quite a bit of that. I'm a member of an organization called Network in Action. Um, they always have speed networking. There's also speed networking within a podcast community I'm in. So if I'm, uh, you know, if I'm available to do more podcasts or I want to do more podcasts, I'll go to speed podcasting and just fill up my calendar. <laughs> so, but that's the idea is to fill your calendar with speaking events to showcase not only your expertise, but your products and services to get yourself out there more, 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 get your name out there. But most importantly, when you go to these events, take pictures, take videos, take videos for other people, other speakers, showcase what you're doing. Don't just go to these events, talk to people, be quiet. Um, one thing that's going to help you when you're when you're speaking uh, virtually is to have a background, have a brand background, like kind of like I, what I have right now for the TV show. But have a background. Mine has, you know, what I do. I'm an award-winning international public speaker. I'm a communication coach. I'm a trainer. It it states all of those things. There's no question uh, what I do, and this can stay in the in the back of their mind whomever I meet on these virtual events, because they're going to see that. So you can, you can get a virtual event super 
inexpensively on five or like 10 bucks, a really nice one as well. So showcase your, your expertise, showcase what you do. Uh, branding material is very important. If you go to these events with a, you know, a shirt with your brand on it or a cup with your branding on it or a bag with your branding on it, a hat with your branding on it, that's going to help you, you to stand out from everyone else as well uh, because people are going to remember you. No one else does this. Have pens with your brand on it. Pass those pens out, notepads with your branding on it. You don't have to do this. Just if you have a, only if you have a booth or if you have a table, you can do this anyway. Showcase yourself. Let people know what you do. That's how you're going to get noticed and known in this industry. And most importantly, unforgettable. Unforgettable. You don't want anyone to forget you. Listen. They're going to see you at the event. You're going to you know, follow up with them. You're probably going to give them a gift, like a pen or something with your, with your name on it. They're going to see you with your branding materials on. When you connect with them, you're going to connect with them on your social media. You're going to be posting all the time what you do. On occasion, you're going to you know send them a DM. Hey, how's it going? Things like that. It, and of course, serve. That's a big part of it is serving. So if you see an opportunity that they may be a great fit for, definitely let them know. And of course, the exchange is going to come back to you when you're helping and serving other people. So that's a good, that's a good point. When you're going to events, your mindset and your energy level is so important. People know when you're going to an event. And it's all about you, 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 me, 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 me. What can I get? What can I get out of here? Who can I meet? Who can I meet? How can I make some money? That's not the mindset. That's not the energy that we want to protrude when we're going to these events. Of course, you're going to brand yourself. You're there. You're there to, to market your business and promote your business. But you also are there to serve and to help other people. When we speak to other people, you want to speak from your heart. Not from your head, you want to speak from your heart. And when you're genuine, you're genuine about what you do. People see that, they feel it, they see that you want to help on a bigger, more grander scale. That's when they're going to be connected to you. That's when they're going to ask you to be part of their event or speak at someone else's events that I know of, that they know about. That's how your network is going to expand. So just, just check your, your mind frame, right? Your mind from your energy before you enter these events. Now, uh, lastly, another, another great way to expand your network is being a guest at other events and being a guest speaker or uh, and showcasing your expertise. When you're doing that, and you're practicing, you're practicing, you're practicing, you're networking, you're talking to other people, right? When you're a guest, don't just, you know, speak, talk about what you do and then hide. No, <laughs> hang out a little bit, make some friends, chit chat. Find your target market. Maybe that is your target market. Maybe you're going to get an aha moment. Now, a lot of people at that event are, are people that you want to be around even more who can benefit from your products and services. You don't have to sell your products and services on the stage. I've sold a lot of products and services by just talking to people in the crowd. Just talking to people on breaks or when I go to lunch. Don't go hiding. I used to hide at lunch and go off of myself. Or if there's a break, I'd, I'd go off of myself and get, get a break from the event. But find ways and find people during that time where everybody's relaxed a little bit. And meet people. Chit chat with people. Find out what they do. People love to talk about themselves. Find out more about what they do. And genuinely feel interested in the other person that's when things are going to open up for you all right and so i hope you have uh, taken note to a lot of these great places that you can you know find more uh, speaking opportunities really network and grow your speaking business we talked about attending industry events we talked about joining speaking uh, association we talked about participating in online events which is 
plenty. And also being a speaker or guest speaker at other events as well. So take this to heart, mix them up, do them as much as you can. And as always, have fun doing it. And really, you know, speaking uh, about the thing that really gets you up every morning and motivated because you are here to serve and help someone else within your level of expertise. Now, if you are looking to really expand your speaking business even more, definitely contact me. Uh, you can find me on my website at www.beseenbeloved.com. I would love to chat with you and see how I can help you to really put this together, right? Pretty Put this speaking business together, establish yourself as an expert, get you out there more and doing what you absolutely love. Now, until next week, I will see you same time, same place on the Be Seen, Be Loved show. Until then, much love and much success. Bye for now. Are you a professional struggling to speak confidently in front of others? Do you have trouble giving presentations or leading teams? Are you finding it difficult to sell to clients? At Be Seen Beloved, we understand the challenges you face. That's why we're here to help. With our expert guidance and training, you'll gain the confidence you need to excel in your business and career. Whether you're looking to lead groups, speak to larger audiences, or train people in your corporation, we can help. Our unique approach will not only improve your business connections and increase your income, but it will also lead to a happier and more fulfilled life. So why wait? Take the first step towards success and visit us at www.bassinebeloved.com today.